Hey guys, welcome to tonight's Big Brother 23 chat. Oh my god, it's season 23 and it's episode 23. It's a golden episode. Is it though? Maybe. <laughs> Isn't that how that works? I guess. Well, Derek X was evicted last week. Wah. Uh, it was sad. I Don't know. do the fake baby cry. No, the fake baby cries. <laughs> yeah. And then Tiffany won the HOH. Tiffany! Yes. Yes. Very exciting. So Tiffany really wanted to save Derek X last week, but she just didn't have the asses in the seats to do it. Well, she also knew that the cookout was going to need to get rid of Derek X anyway. Mm. So, like, she was trying to put the cookout before her own personal game. I mean, she could have gotten rid of somebody else. But she didn't. Yeah. All right, so... Claire is celebrating with Tiffany. And How all. much did you love the storage room celebration with Tiffany, Claire, Aza, and Hannah? I liked it, but I felt bad for Claire yeah. because she's really not on the team. But she thinks she is. I know. It was so sad when Claire was talking about how Tiffany is like her number one ally. And it was like, yeah, she is. But you're not hers. No. It's like when you're best friends with someone, but they're not. Your like, best friend? You're not their best friend? Yeah. Well, BB23's mom and dad, Big D and Aza, were comforting their little baby Kai. I'll give that the fake baby crying. He was crying a lot about Derek X leaving, but... I don't know. I just can't with Kylan. I just... Kylan really, um... <laughs> Rub me the wrong way this season. This for, whole season? For multiple reasons. I really liked him in the beginning, but... I was really rooting for him. He was one of our picks from the beginning. Then the the power pre tripping pre and the ego came out and the condescending talk, and I just can't deal with that. I mean, I can deal with the crying. The crying is fine. I don't... I love a sensitive guy. Yeah. But, like, the other stuff... I don't like that. Yeah. I didn't sign up for that. Yeah. So Sarah Beth is also crying. It's a big cry fest about Derek X's speech. Okay. So in Derek X's speech, he called some... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Somebody was playing <laughs> Nicole F's game. But Sarah Beth originally thought that Derek X was calling her cold AF. So <laughs> then... They didn't show this part on the show, but when Kylan told her, like, no, he was saying you're playing a Nicole F game, she was like, wait a second, a what? Nicole and then the feeds cut. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so she was not pleased with that comparison. Did she know who Nicole Franzel was? Of course. Okay. All of them know who Nicole All Franzel right. is. Of course. But, yeah, she wasn't happy with it. All right. Well, Sarah Beth is... Starting a new alliance. So this actually happened, at, like they showed last week. Right. We had a little flashback, flashback, yeah. flashback. <laughs> Sarah Beth, Kylan, Alyssa, and Xavier formed this shaky ass alliance called the Monarchy. It's all fun and games when Sarah Beth is the HOH, but right. now that she's not, you can expect these two duos to throw each other under the bus. Yeah. Um, this was not built to last. Uh-oh. I mean, it was fake anyway because Kylan and Xavier, no, they're team cookout. They don't, they're just holding on to these girls for now. And if either of them were to win HOH again, they want to make sure that they're going to be good. Again, but, very sad. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, Tiffany's planning on putting up Sarah Beth and Kai. I mean, she's been planning this for weeks. <laughs> she wants Sarah Beth's ass out. And Kai just so happens to be Sarah Beth's significant other in the game. I think Tiffany also and that just... that was the plan. It's convenient that Kylan is Sarah Beth's duo partner because Tiffany is going to enjoy putting him up on the block. Even though she knows he's not going anywhere. Remember all that crazy uh, Kai-Tiffany drama like a few Which weeks time? ago? Which the first time. I don't, I don't remember what's what. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, I guess this is like, um, finally she's getting some uh, satisfaction out of, like, 
punishing him by putting him up on the block. So. Well, this is also um, really important, Tiffany's win for the cookout women, because this whole they time... They really not won anything. Kylan, Xavier, and Derek F. have been talking crap about the women, saying, like, we're pulling all the weight, like, they need to step up and do something. So now Tiffany's like, I'm HOH, and I'm going to do this. I stepped up my pee. <laughs> all right, so Tiffany is giving Hannah a pep talk about losing uh, her partner, Derek X, in the game. And the tears from Hannah did feel very genuine. Mm -hmm. It's always kind of jarring when you see someone crying who, like, never cries. Like, Hannah has not been super emotional in this game so far. So, so to see how upset she was about voting... She finally broke. Well, she didn't vote Derek X out, but, like, you right. know, she was a part of it. Yeah. Um, I felt terrible. This was a very difficult week for her. I didn't feel a thing. I'm playing a cold AF game. Oh, whoa. <laughs> yeah. I felt bad for Hannah because you could tell she was really broken up about it. All right. Well, Tiffany wants Derek F mm -hmm. to play in the Coin of Destiny. Yes. Because the devil you know is better than the devil that you don't know. Yeah. I mean, they want to make sure specifically that Sarah Beth is not going to win this Coin of Destiny. Right. She knows he's got the money. She wants him to win. He's got mad money. Yeah. But, on the other hand, he's not really trusting her. If she wasn't in the cookout with him, her butt would have been gone. And guess what? You weren't going to be the one to do it because you haven't won shit. <laughs> and I love how he's been saying that the, the women in the cookout need to step up when, like, what has he done so far? But... And it wasn't for lack of trying either. Yeah. I really enjoy Tiffany and uh, Big D's relationship when they're when they're getting together. And when they're agreeing. getting along, yeah, they are so much fun to watch. Mm -hmm. But there's also like so well, you much can drama add between Aza them. Into that too. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Love. BB twenty three is mom and dad, right? But also Tiffany and Aza. I love watching them together when they're getting along. Yeah. But again, they butt heads from time to time. You know what? Everybody it definitely does. feels like watching a sibling relationship mm -hmm. so tiffany's chatting with sarah beth and uh sarah beth's i guess trying to like smooth stuff over with her um sarah beth is throwing Alyssa under the bus did we get there already this was we i'm saying get there already. they didn't show it as much on the show but even from this first one-on-one -on -one, sarah beth is throwing Alyssa, xavier big d anybody that she can under the bus because tiffany is letting her know there are two strong duos that I see in this house. Mm -hmm. You and Kylan and Xavier and Alyssa. Right. So I'm going to have to do something about that. Mm -hmm. So she basically lets Sarah oh, Beth well, know. Oh, well, going to have to do it about them. Yeah. Yes. No. Sarah Beth is, is, is thinking, if I can get the other duo to be the target, then that's fine. Whatever. But you were the one who sent Derek X home. And Tiffany is not happy about that. No. She you said cut her legs, legs off. Exactly. <laughs> And Hannah, uh, not Hannah, Sarah Beth was all like, I didn't know, like, you felt like I cut off your legs. <laughs> <laughs> Shelly didn't tell me. <laughs> all right, so it's time to see Tiffany's HOH. Yay! Yeah! We don't get to see the HOH room reveals every week, so when we do, it's a nice little treat. We got to see Mama Pat. We got to see uh, Christian. Christian. He's I, in high school now. I loved getting to see Tiffany's family and learning more about them. Mm -hmm. Mama Pat is actually her grandma. Mama Pat sounds her. like an angel. I know. Love that. Love that relationship that they have. Yes. Uh, Big D uh, peed a little bit in his suit because uh, she got Beyonce as her music choice. Mm -hmm. And he loves Beyonce. Yes. That was a fun reaction. It was a fun reaction. Woo! <laughs> and she I don't got, know if I've ever seen him so excited about anything so far this season. No. She got her letter from Mama Pat and her son Christian, and it was very uh, emotional. Mm -hmm. She said she wasn't going to cry. She almost uh, kept her word. <laughs> All right. So, again, Sarah B is meeting with Tiffany. She was like, all right. I know I was throwing Alyssa under the bus before. But now I'm really going to throw her under the bus. I have so much more information to tell you. <laughs> so they only showed, like, the one thing 
dirt on the show. Right. Like, Alyssa said that you were not happy when I won HOH last week. Mm-hmm. But there were so many other things that Sarah Beth had to say about Alyssa. Well, I think we were watching the live feeds We live, were watching this one live, and yeah. And watching Tiffany explain about Sarah Beth and the information that she was bringing to her... Well, when I first, when she, when she first came in and said, here's the information. Yeah. <laughs> there you go, on Alyssa. And then she showed up and she said, here's the information on <laughs> Alyssa the second time. Yeah. So, yeah. She, that was hilarious to watch that. Because who was she explaining that she to? Aza? Big D and Aza. Right. Yeah. America's triplets. Love it. Yeah. Um, Sarah Beth. Really trying to make Alyssa the target this week. But no, Tiffany has wanted this for so long. And she did admit, you know, Sarah Beth made a lot of great points. Um, Yeah, she wasn't wrong with all of her information to throw Alyssa under the bus. And to be fair, Alyssa was also throwing Sarah Beth under the bus hard. They didn't show it in the episode, but these two were really trying to get the target on each other. I, I mean, Tiffany said, look, I really had to think about it. But I gotta stick with the plan. Yeah. So it's time for noms. Everybody knows that Xavier's already up on the block because of his punishment. Yeah, from last week's POV. But it is revealed that Tiffany has nominated Kai and Sarah Beth. Oh. You are a powerful duo, and this is for my own personal game. We all know that SB is the target. But she didn't say that. Tiffany doesn't want Sarah Beth to know that, though. No. I'll get you next time, Alyssa. <laughs> Don't you Was she worry. Was Skeletor? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so she meets post-nominations with Sarah Beth. I also want to mention, does. too, mm-hmm. Tiffany did her nomination ceremony in the HOH room because Kylan would not stop talking to her before the ceremony, and she didn't have time to get ready, and she was just like, I guess I'm wearing this robe now. He really talks a lot or is it just that he talks so slow with so many pauses it's both it's both all right well she tells us be again look you're a powerful duo but i am after kai she's trying you to don't, you don't have a damn thing to worry about she's trying to make it seem like kylan is the target and that sarah beth is just up there because she's so close to him <laughs> all right so the high roller room is open okay are you ready yeah all right. I'm ready for a takeover. <laughs> well, it's time for the coin of destiny because it's the only old game left. Okay. It costs $250. Well. It's not a sure thing. No dollars. BB box. Mm-hmm. It's like Bitcoin. All right. So it's not a sure thing either. Yeah. The it, person that wins the coin of destiny has a chance. A 50-50 chance. To take over the HOH this week. Upon the weight of the coin flip. Mm-hmm. So, uh, if somebody does take over the HOH, it's going to be anonymous, which is a nice little treat. hmm And they're going to be able to make their own nominations this week. Yeah. All right. So, Aza, she got a bunch of money. She still didn't have enough. Well, let's just say, too, every time a house guest would go into the high roller room or high roller's room... They had the money that they had previously. Right. Add to that the money that they got from America this week. This week. And then add the money that they got in their envelope from the HOH competition. Right. And any other competition. Right. Any other little extra thing. Yeah. So let's just say Ozzy didn't have enough money. Xavier didn't have enough money. Alyssa didn't have enough money. Mm Mm-hmm. Hannah did. She did have enough money. She had 300 BB Bitcoin bucks, and she said, I am not going to play. Right, because Tiffany and Hannah were strategizing about this. They are mm-hmm. like, all right, as much as Tiffany wants to get dethroned, mm-hmm. um, she wants to make sure that all of the cookout members will be playing in the next HOH competition. And you can't play in the next HOH competition if you're the HOH this week. Right. Including the anonymous HOH. Right. That person, I believe, will technically be playing, but they have to throw the competition. But Tiffany, if she's dethroned, will be eligible Mm -hmm. to play. So she's like, yeah, I want to be dethroned, but I don't want any of the cookout members to do it. So they figure Claire will probably get enough money 
So they're going to try and make sure that she is the one to win. So that's why Hannah was like, no, I'm not going to play. Right. Kai, not enough money. Tiffany, not enough money. SB, not enough money, honey. And Derek, uh, the only Derek left. He has He's rolling in the deep. <laughs> Dollars. Yeah. He could have said, no, I don't want to, you know, I don't want to play, but it would have looked too sus. Especially with how much he was talking it up last week. Yeah. Everybody knows he's going to have enough money. So he did end up playing. Mm -hmm. uh, and the game for this was fun. Mm -hmm. You had to roll your coins down the lane. Yeah, and like try and get them. Lane. Yeah, try and get them into the slots at the end. There is hair on my face. I hate that. <laughs> ah! And you had two minutes to get as many in the slots as you could. He got one. I mean, he threw it. He did. Throw he was it. taking a sweet ass time. Yeah, they were going all over the place, mm -hmm. and he still managed to get one. Claire was the only other person who played. She had two hundred fifty, just enough money. And she tried her hardest. She was trying real hard. And she only landed three. So she did end up winning the coin of destiny. Maybe the secret to this game is not to try. I don't know. <laughs> she won the coin of destiny. So um, all the house guests gather at the dining room table. And they find out that the coin was played for and somebody won it. Mm -hmm. And the winner... Pre chose heads in, in the event that they did win. Mm -hmm. So then they had that like coin. They had like a flipper. trebuchet, trebuchet uh, yeah. coin thing, and it like freaking flipped it up into the air. This was dramatic as hell with the slow mo yeah. and seeing the house because you'd be like <gasps> watching it. Yeah. <laughs> oh look, it's heads. So they that won. means Claire. Is the anonymous HOH for the week? Tiffany has been well. They dethroned. don't know that. They just know right. that somebody has won. <coughs> yes, they got their way. Tiffany's off, so she's got to move out of the HOH room and everything. Yeah, Kai and SB are temporarily off the block. Mm -hmm. Xavier stays on the block because the only way he can be saved is by the veto. Yep. And uh, this was so, it, it was kind of sad because they're like, "Oh, Kai and SB, you're safe." For now. And then two seconds later, it was like, all right, let's see who the anonymous HOH nominated. In and it's the like, event that they won. Yeah. Um, it's Kai and SB. Aww. <laughs> wow. So there's still, on, every, everything is still exactly the same, except for Tiffany is not the HOH. Mm -hmm. She can play next week. Claire is the HOH. Nobody knows it, though. And she cannot play next I week. I mean, like, pretty much everybody except for Alyssa and, and uh... As we know. Okay. But yeah, uh, Xavier's still up on the block as the third nominee. And the High Rollers room is now closed. What do you think about Claire keeping Tiffany's nominations the same? I think that was pretty smart. I mean... <laughs> Don't you? It would be pretty messed up if she changed them just because, like, all of just the cookout the knows that, that she had the Coin of Destiny, so, like... I mean, what is she going to do, you know, at this point? What is she going to do anyway? I don't know. What If you were Claire, would you, what would you have done? Claire is still in the dark. oblivious right yeah. now. I don't see how, though. Hello. Have you seen the boot order of the people who have left the show? And it's interesting because she's had awareness level. She's had those conversations with DX and they've gotten so close to figuring it out, but she just like doesn't see it. Is she playing dumb? I don't think so. Cuz she was talking to the camera one time and she was like, "Oh, I think I'm good because if I do go up on the block with Tiffany at some point, I'm going to be safe and Tiffany's going to go." Mm. Do you think she's, uh -oh. she's just playing dumb, though? No. I don't. I don't. I mean, it's like, you'd be a real jerk if you, like, did anything. I don't know. I, I don't think she knows. But anyway, yeah, the high roller's room is closed now. That twist is done, though. I gotta say, like, these twists, the three twists, ended up kind of being a bust from yeah. this. Like, did it really impact the game? 
You know what? It would have if there wasn't such a strong alliance. Yeah. You know? But... I, I did like the twists. Yeah, I thought it was season. cool. But the cookout was able to strategize around all of these twists, which just shows how strong they are and how smart they are strategically that they were able to get through all of these unscathed. That's impressive. I think Tiffany's plan was uh, a winner. And I think it will go down in BB history as one of the greatest strategies. Yeah. Yep. So that's that. (laughs) Um, Now it's going to be all about that veto. Oh. Seems like everybody's against SB at this point, except for maybe like Kylan, but... But he knows that she has to go as well. So, I mean, yeah, he's not going to fight it. So, unless she wins this POV, not looking good for her. So, we'll see how that plays out on Wednesday's episode. Or if you don't want to wait, just check out our daily spoiler live streams. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's it. That's all we got. Yep. So uh, let us know what your thoughts are in the comments below because we read all of them. Yep. And we'll see you guys tomorrow for the live stream. And until then, much, much love. love.